on this episode of Path to Performance, presented by Castrol Edge. Almost nothing on the truck came on the truck, but it all looks like that's how it should have been. I think out of all the, all the cars in the shop, I think this would be our best chance. Yep. Barrett Jackson is, is certainly the place to be if you want people to see what you've created. This year, we're taking you inside the garages of four of the best builders as they bring their cars to life. One of them could take home the Barrett Jackson Cup. This is the Path to Performance, presented by Castrol Edge. Now we're ahead of the game, man. The truck is, uh, I mean, it's already got some miles on it. We took it out, did a killer photo shoot yesterday with it. You know, kind of chased down most of the little quirks, and it's at this point ready to just start piling miles on it and punch list it. I think that's one of the biggest misconceptions on this truck is most people will look at it like, oh, that's a nice C10 or K10, but you gotta spend the time to look at every detail on it and realize that almost nothing on the truck came on the truck, but it all looks like that's how it should have been. Every single piece that you see inside that truck, it's been handmade or made by machine or computer. Starting with the wheels, we've got 17-inch forged aluminum wheels that are designed to look like an original steel wheel. We've 3D printed a steering wheel on it to make it look like the iconic square body steering wheel. We've got shift on the fly four-wheel drive, just like out of a brand new 2020 Silverado. The Chevelle we brought last year was kind of polar opposite of what this is. It was a insane one-off, tons of hand fabrication, tons of custom machine work, just stuff that was built for a specific customer, for what he wanted and the look that uh, that him and, and Jerry and Chris, our designer, were after. We made the shift to go four-wheel drive from the you know traditional hot rod or muscle car. Uh, I just think the trucks are where it's at. It's what's coming next. Everybody in our industry, in the car industry, always wants something different, something new. And I think this is what's next. We started out only doing it for the K10 and K5 Blazers. At SEMA this year, we launched our new version for the first gen Broncos. We're in the final development stages and coming out with them for some of the Jeeps and some of the Land Rovers. So kind of taking the same package and just finding different bodies uh, to put on top of them. So here's the current state of the Biscayne. So, uh, we're right in the middle of finishing the body work and doing some block sanding on it and so forth. You know, we need to finish that out and uh, make a bezel for it, machine it, and tidy it up. And that's it, and then just execute all that stuff. Yeah, out here in the shop, we've been working away with uh, on the Biscayne uh, in preparation for the Barrett Jackson Cup. And I was chatting with Terry, the owner, and him and I were talking about it and how hard we had to go in the end uh, to finish it. and. We both kind of collectively decided that we wanted to give it more time to do the finish and all the detail work on it and all that stuff. So we've ultimately made the decision to possibly wait till next year. Dad over here, Mike. Uh, digging stuff out. You wanna, let's roll through the shop and just have a look at what might be good candidates to uh, take to the Barrett since we're not going to make it with that thing. Okay. Sure. So Sounds good. We got, we got Rick and Deb's car over here. Yeah. Fresh back from interior. We've got to do a bunch of detail work yet on the engine bay. Uh, now we're into the cleanup phase and all the final little prep stuff. We just need to evaluate what's going to be the, the best move and if this car is it. The Porsche would be a really good candidate to take, I think. Porsches are coming on. They're starting to be a hot yeah. rod thing. The performance of this thing, it's a Stock 2.7 liter engine. We put Borla uh, injectors on it for fuel injection. It's a definite candidate. Yeah, and then we could go in the showroom and look at the 27 Ford. I think this one's done real well, so I yeah. really like well, to the take best, this car. We've done really well with it through the year, and uh, it has a bunch of accolades now, which may help our chances out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think out of all the, all the cars in the shop, I think this would be our best chance. Yep. When we finish a truck, we like to get it on the road and probably put close to 500 miles on it. Just really use it like the customer would. Um, there's initial 
set up on the, the shocks and steering and suspension, making sure everything's dialed the way it should be so the customer gets it and can just put miles on it and not have to worry about it. Favorite part about this truck is just the overall look and how you feel driving it. I mean, it's just so cool, so iconic. I feel like I need a cowboy hat, maybe a mustache and a cigarette. With the focus being turned towards the 27 Ford Roadster, we will see how this build stacks up against the competition at the Cup. The car that Dad and I did decide to bring to Barrett-Jackson Cup 2024 is uh, John Hall's little Lexel 27. It's a good little nicely detailed roadster, works great. Performance of the thing is incredible. Uh, it's a little bit bigger body from a stock Ford 27 Ford. I think it's well-rounded for what Barrett-Jackson and uh, the guys at the Cup are looking for. We did all the finish work, wiring, plumbing, paint work, all the custom machining, one-off machining stuff on the car. We're gonna perform an oil change on this thing. It's due, we've been driving it some. So what we're gonna do is we've actually gotta remove the hood tops, which is basically just removing the center bar. And then in this vent back here, is this is the actual oil fill for this, this engine. So we'll, we'll pull that uh, air filter off of there and for the sump, and then we'll uh, put the Castrol Edge full synthetic in there, and uh, we'll be good to go for, for another round. Yeah, John Hall's been developing this engine for like 15 years, and with it being a new engine, we don't have to rely on zinc-infused uh, oils anymore. Uh, with it being a, this newer engine, we've been relying on Castrol Edge full synthetic to be able to help the engine handle its horsepower and keep the engine running at its peak performance. Barrett Jackson is, is certainly the place to be if you want people to see what you've created. You're in an arena that's just got such energy around it of just solely focused on high-end cars and you've got the clientele, um, the shops that are there and just people that come in looking to buy cars, just wanting to be a part of it. Um, the energy is so exciting being there um, that it's just an awesome, awesome car venue and great place to showcase a new build. Uh, yeah, Dad and I have, we've won a lot of shows, a lot of notable shows over the years and had and have enjoyed some really good ex success and have been very fortunate for that. And uh, gosh, if we could, if we could put a, a Barrett Jackson Cup win in our, in our cap, that'd be a very, very cool thing. And, and uh, that'd mean a lot, of, a lot to us. Mm -hmm.